Sonic pushes Nine down to his lab where the prism is, and the pair fights. Sonic sees the palm trees and realizes that Nine planned it for him. As they fight, Sonic tries to reason with him, saying that Nine just wanted a better life like Green Hill, but for both of them. Nine, though, is still mad at Sonic, so he keeps firing at him until the others break through the wall. Shadow tells Nine that it's over. Sonic apologizes to Nine for everything. He missed his home so much and was so focused on getting it back that he didn't listen to what Nine wanted. Sonic tells his friend that he never meant to hurt him. The Chaos Council attempts to hurt Nine, but Sonic protects him. He reminds the Chaos Council that in a few minutes there won't be anything left to fight over. Sonic also reminds Nine that everyone's worlds have been shattered and their homes destroyed. The same thing is happening to the Grimm. Nine admits that he pushed the prism too far and reveals that without a great sacrifice, reality as they know it will be over. Sonic's friends are sad and start sobbing. Even the Chaos Council cry as they hug each other. Sonic chooses to sacrifice himself to allow his friends to get their worlds back. Sonic makes everyone promise to leave Nine alone and let him live peacefully in his new home in the Grim. He also makes Nine promise not to cause any more trouble in the other shatter spaces. Nine extracts the remaining prism energy inside of Sonic and uses it to fully reform the Paradox Prism. The prism is finally fully stable. This way, Nine and Sonic save everything. But since Nine removed the energy, Sonic starts falling apart, because he was the one who shattered the prism, so without the prism energy binding him, Sonic can't exist in the shatter spaces and he begins to vanish. The Chaos Council turn against Sonic and Co and decide to take the prism. However, a fight erupts among them over who wields the power of the prism, so Nine and Co seize the chance and send them into the void. Nine uses the prism to start the reformation process. Sonic is glad to hear that Nine can bring back Green Hill. Nine manages to bring everything back to normal. Sonic and Co are amazed to see the gateways reforming, including No Place, the boss cage maze, and they spot the Green Hill gateway in the distance. Sonic needs to leave right away and his friends help him. Sonic and Nine hug and bid farewell. Thorn, Rose and Birdie give him a ride. Birdie flies, but her wing is hurt. Black Rose and Shadow are on board the Kraken. They followed them to lend them a hand. Black Rose brought Sonic far enough, so Shadow lifts Sonic, uses his speed, and manages to get him through the Green Hill Gateway. Sonic returns to the moment before he shattered the prism. He is happy to see Knuckles, Rouge, Amy, and Nine. He and his friends work as a team to defeat Eggman. His friends are amazed at his new attitude when he tells them that they should stick together no matter what it takes. Shadow shows up to help, and Eggman is surprised to see him there. Shadow tells him that he is the ultimate life form, so he goes wherever he wants. Then he vanishes with the prism. Eggman realizes that he can't beat Sonic and his team, so he storms out, vowing to return. Later, Sonic brings his friends chili dogs. His friends wonder why he's been acting different. He's about to tell them about his adventures when they get attacked. Sonic tells his team that they have to go fast, and the series ends.